What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to what is quite probably slash quite possibly the final carnival day. EA have released La Furia Roja, uh, an Electrum players pack. They have also released a 90 rated Tiago. Way to treat the fans, EA. Um, nice dribbling. Really nice passing, to be fair, because crossing and free kick accuracy for a centre mid are irrelevant. So his vision, short passing and long passing are great. Um, decent enough pace. 78 stamina. Kind of makes me feel like, what's the point once again? Um, for a 90 rated, let's see how crazily overly priced he is. Uh, also, marquee matchups have been released. Is that it? And that looks like it's it. And then an icon, uh, which is Spain's Carlos Puyol. There was no icon yesterday, interestingly enough. Um, but yeah, so Carlos Puyol is there. I mean, look, this, this card is brilliant for the right reasons. Absolutely mental defending. Absolutely mental physical. Great reactions and composure. What would I give to this card? I would give a catalyst to this card. I'd boost that pace up as much as possible. And I'd boost that passing up because his defending and physicals are so, so high end that it's not really going to be noticeable giving him anything defensively. In terms of completing him, you only need eight segments with no icon. That is interesting. Uh, an 87, an 86, an 85, an 84, and an 83. You do need two informs for each. So it's actually going to be 12 informs needed altogether with world class as well. Mega pack, rare players pack, prime gold, jumbo premium gold players pack. How, uh, rare mega pack. I mean, the packs aren't really great value. Um, but uh, it's not bad either. Also, it's, it's interesting to know that Carnival, I believe, does it end tomorrow or does it end on Saturday? If it ends on Saturday, it's unlikely we're going to get fuck birthday um, this weekend. Um, what I will say about these SBCs is... I mean, Puyol is going to be nice and cheap for a decent centre-back. You know, is he endgame? No, he's not. There's going to be so many better centre-backs out there. There probably already is. And then this Thiago, guys. Um, it's going to depend, really, isn't it, on how expensive he is, ultimately. Uh, let's have a look at La Fura Roja, though. Uh, the daily SBC. Two Spanish players, Max League or... Nationalities 3, rating 80. Jesus, for a Prime Electron Players pack? We've had better ones over the days, that's for sure. Um, I guess let's go to La Liga. Now, this has to be an 80-rated squad. So, we'll pop him in. And then we'll go for three more Spaniards here, I guess. We don't have to use rares. I'd rather get rid of commons. Uh, we'll go boom, we'll go boom. And let's pop him in. Brazilian, obviously nice. Um, nationalities minimum three taken care of same league maximum four pretty much taken care of let's go to the Bundesliga and get three Germans here again it's, it's a little frustrating it has to be quite high rated but it's not the end of the world I suppose uh, Davi can go in there and then let's get a Bundesliga right mid as well it's going to be nice and easy to put together Hoffman can go in there um, and we only need 85 chemistry, so we can go to the Syria for the final spots, and we should be good for rating. Is, is it a good? Is it a good league? Oh, I just, I don't know, guys. I think EA are just crazy, crazy out of touch with what's going on at the moment. Also, if you guys are enjoying the videos, and you wouldn't mind dropping a thumbs up on the video, that'd be very much appreciated. Uh, if we could try and smash 5,000 likes for today's video, that'd be amazing. Have a look down below. And uh, let me know uh, if it's under 5k. Give it a uh, give it a thumbs up. Let's get that pack open first of all. Of course, there's going to be some promo packs in store. I'm interested. I I, I had heard rumours that Fat Birthday was going to be tomorrow at 6 p.m. Now, unless EA, um, unless wow, that's bad. Unless EA r released the last Carnival players and then Fat Birthday at the same time. Fuck birthday's not coming tomorrow, which is quite sad. Um, but hey, such is life. We get nothing out of that. Maybe a spa maybe Santi Cazola will send him up to the trade pile there and maybe try and sell him on. Um, and then after that, I mean, marquee matchups is never one that we really feature on this channel. So it just comes down to how expensive are they going to have made Tiago? And the answer is not too bad. <sighs> 
Not too bad. You know what's really frustrating? 86 DeAndre Yedlin requires um, an 85 rated with an inform and an 84 rated with an inform. That's for an 86 rated right back that's not great value. No, terrible, I think. 90 rated uh, Thiago requires an 85 rated squad with no inf with one inform and an 84 rated squad with no inform. So it's going to be cheaper than DeAndre Yedlin by about 15, 20k. So Thiago is going to come in at about 140 for a, a small rare election players pack and a prime gold players pack. I'm going to do this one. This is definitely better value, but it's still not great value. Um, let's get our 85 rated squad. Uh, from the Premier League, I suppose. We'll chuck in Edison to start. Right backs, we probably don't have any that are useful. Centre backs, we probably have lots that are useful. Uh, we can also put Tarkovsky in there for our inform. Um, left back, do I want to use Robertson? I don't really. I don't mind using that in the Manu Matic. Maybe I will be able to get rid of uh, a few lower rated cards in here. Orginio can go in. He can go in. Left mid, Felipe Anderson perhaps. Hyung Min Son. Can use uh, those guys up front. We've got Lacazette, which we could throw in. That already puts us to an 81 rated with two spots remaining. Um, and obviously the inform has been taken care of. Now, I know what I have a lot of on the trade pile. But at the same time, I don't want to overuse players that I don't need to. So let's start with the low end players and pop 283s in. That's not quite enough. Let's upgrade 182. Not enough. Let's upgrade the 83, not enough. Let's upgrade this 83. There we go, perfect. So that's the first one done, guys. 85 rated squad. Now an 85 rated with an inform is 105K, uh, according to the DeAndre Yedlin SPC. So it's gonna be about the same price for this as well. Um, do I think 105K for the 85 rated segment for a prime gold players pack back is worth it? Probably not especially not for the card that EA have offered up. You know, if the card was absolutely out of this world good, I'd say, yeah, go nuts. But because the card is bang average, and again, prime gold players packs are just useless. They're just terrible prime gold players packs are. They're some of the worst packs that you'll ever see in the store. And that's why. Um, absolutely terrible. Uh, I, I would save Spanish players normally for the other SBC, but because... You know, there's uh, there's so many Spanish players I don't really think it's a problem. Then we need an 84-rated Spanish well, squad with uh, two Spanish players. So we'll actually go to the La Liga and just once again um, get involved here. So only an 84-rated squad needed. We'll be able to get with some 84s and some 83s. We could put Mark Bartra in there as well. I don't want to do the left back just yet. We should have like Ilara Mendy and Koke and Saul. Oh, we don't have... All of them, but we should be able to get away with a fair few. I've got Lucas Vasquez, um, which I will be able to use Lucas Vasquez. And I will be able to use Malcolm, I think, as well. And then up front, Gerard Moreno, potentially Rodrigo, but because I've got a few 85s in there already. We've also already got the chemistry. Um, let me just go to my untradeable section. I've got an 87 in there. I probably don't need Kalor Navas. Uh, that's, that's honestly just a little bit overkill. Um... Jeez, I have so many. Look at the untradeable cards. Look at all the coins wasted on this account, guys. Absolutely mental. The amount of coins and cards that I've wasted over the over the months on this game for these cards that we just never use. We're 100 deep and I still don't even care. So obviously, Kadira is going to be just fine. I don't need an 85. I don't need an 84 either. There's the Illaramendi. I knew I had one. Um... I should use some of the untradables first, shouldn't I? What about an 83? So an 83 is more than okay as well. What about an 82? An 82 doesn't work. So let's put 83 untradable glick in there. That finishes that off. And we will take another look at um, the card for Thiago. We'll also wait for the Puyol to come in. Now, Thiago's coming in at 150,000 coins. As per usual, it'll probably dip a little bit because this is just the initial pricing you're probably looking at 140, maybe 135,000 coins. So we're going to go and have a look in a second once this walks out, once we open a pack. But what other centre mids cams we can get for kind of 150,000 coins or less that would be viable options compared to Thiago? Are there going to be as many? It's a tough one, really, because there's a lot of good cards out there. 
that have positives and negatives depending on different aspects of the game. What I will say about this card is, uh, like stamina for me is important for a centre midfielder. For a striker, less so. For a centre back, less so. For wingers and fullbacks, stamina super important. For cams, less so. For CDMs and centre mids, important. It, you know, they run more than anyone other than the wide players. So it's important for them to have good stamina. His dribbling generally is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, very well rounded. I like it a lot. And his passing as well, even though it's only 88 on the face of things. Short pass, long pass, curve and vision are brilliant. Crossing and free kick, free kick accuracy, not important for a centre midfielder. As long as you don't cross with him or take your free kicks with him, it's no big deal. Um, his volleys being very good is a big win because of the new volley first time shot method. Meta is good. Long shots is okay. Positioning is pretty good for a midfielder. Finishing the shot power a little on the low end. Is it too much of a problem? Not really. And his pace is all right. This, is, this isn't, honestly, this isn't a terrible card. And for 150,000 or 130,000 coins plus packs back, I would say, you know, on the face of it, this is an okay SBC. It really is. The issue is going to be determined by how many cards out there are as good as or better than Tiago for cheaper as tradable items. And the other benefit you get from Tiago is the simple fact that he is five star skill moves but as a detriment he's only four star weak foot so i don't know um i don't know man it's, it is a tricky one is that french league no it's french league too it is a tricky one so let's go and have a look at the uh at the cards that we could get in place so this is already the cards that are available so Verratti screamer card just a little bit slow a little bit short luka modric 92 champions league card very very comparable uh also amazing passing also amazing dribbling much better stamina decent enough defending well-rounded shooting and good acceleration and sprint speed I, I would say that straight off the bat this card is very similar to um to the tiago card and in fact let's compare the tiago 90 to luka modric so in in terms of face card stats Tiago is better in some regards and worse in others. Pace, very, very similar. Uh, dribbling, very, very similar. Defending the same physical, very, very similar. And then Luka Modric has a little less shooting and a little more passing. And that already is enough for me to say that this card just isn't worth it, especially when Luka Modric comes in with way better stamina, you know, 12 more stamina. When he comes in with much better standing and, uh, standing and slide tackles, um, his ball control and reactions, his balance his agility as good as or better a little less dribbling a little less composure um you know his vision's better his crossing irrelevant free kicks irrelevant short passing is the same and then long passing and curve is like a tiny bit shorter his shooting is a fair bit worse all around um which is i guess for a center mid somewhat of a concern but yeah that straight off the bat that luka modric looks to be way better christian erickson another one i mean this card is way better great stamina really well-rounded passing, much better shooting in general, and very good dribbling as well. And again, with that Ericsson car coming in at 135 as a tradable option, plus being five-star weak foot and four-star skill moves, and Luka Modric being four-star, four-star ahead of the five-star, three-star of Thiago, already we've seen two alternatives that are just as good as, if not better. Uh, you then look at Inform Hammers Rodriguez. Now, he has the issues, again, of bad stamina. 73 stamina, not great, but... Passing, shooting, as good as or better. Dribbling, very good. Uh, four star, three star. So, a bit meh on that one. Um, what else have we got here that's actually going to be a good alternative? Um, Dybala's cam card. I would take all day. That's only 86k as well. Uh, Marco Royce's cam card. Uh, do you know what? I would probably prefer this card as well. He's Bundesliga. He's same position. He's far more well-rounded. Also has stamina issues, uh, but far more well-rounded as far as cards go. Um, ones to watch Goretzka. I don't necessarily think he's uh, on a par. Havertes, pretty good. Luka Modric is in there again. Like, Ivan Rakitic's team of the group stage card would be okay. Pablo Sarabia is a headliner card for 64k. This is a really good alternative. Not quite as good. I'd say this is a level below. I would definitely say Christian Eriksen at 135 and Luka Modric at 140 are equally good cards that are tradable 
which is a big, big plus over the SBC cards and um, have better skill moves and weak foot or one of the other. Like obviously five-star skills for Thiago is good, but four-star, five-star for Ericsson, I'd take over five-star, three-star and four-star, four-star of Modric. I would also take over five-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. Uh, they both have way, way better stamina. And I just, I don't think that card, it, again, it is, it's my, my opinion. I don't think it's great value for coins. But what I will say about the Tiago card is I don't think it's terrible value for coins. It's a 90 rated card. Um, let's get these packs open, which uh, 90 rated right now are selling for. Um, let me go for the cheapest rated 90. Um, you know, obviously it has that value. It has a value of a 90 rated card. So a 90 rated card is the cheapest right now is... 55k so the fact that you get you know a fifth a card that's worth 55k uh you also get a 45k pack and the small rare electron players pack back so you get a bit of packs back nothing major it's like 50k there plus you get a carnival card it's 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 not bad value for coins i'll say that that and that's about as far as i'll say for that tiago card I will also just say that it's not good value for coins. It is definitely a card that I think people will be drawn to. I just think that your coins would be better spent on tradable Modric or tradable Ericsson UCL cards, uh, tradable Dybala's regular card, you know, just his gold standard card. I, I would say if you're going to invest in this SBC, I I'd say go and buy the tradable cards because then when you want to, you could just sell the tradable cards on. And you can get your coins back and you can reinvest those coins elsewhere. But once you do this SBC, all you're ultimately left with is a card that you either can or can't use. And then that you can use in an SBC that will be counted towards an SBC as a 90 rated card. So, yeah, I don't know. It's a tough one. I, I don't think it's great value for coins. I'll say that. We are getting... I'll open the last one of coins because I want to open these... Uh, Rare Megas, they're sometimes good for me. But let me know what you guys think down below, guys. And I also want to get up the uh, the price here of Poyo if he's in yet. It doesn't look like he is. Um, no, he's not. He's miles, miles away. I don't think Poyo is going to be too expensive. You know, an 87. Uh, let, let, actually, I could probably figure it out just based off of the other uh, icon. So Zanetti removing the icon segment. That's 360 gone. That takes him down to a million and removing the 88 that's 300k that so Poyo is going to be 700k plus plus packs back you know for a card with that high rated defending and, and stats and such it's, it's not terrible it's not terrible I, I still don't think it's great value I, I think Poyo I would say the same as Tiago. I don't think it's bad value for coins I just don't think it's good value for coins I think it's the sort of card that you should do if you're a huge Carlos Puyol fan, or if you're a Spaniard and you're looking to build the best possible Spain team, then go nuts, go get those cards. Other than that, I'd say steer clear of both of today's cards because I don't think either of them are good value for coins. And uh, that is going to be the end of it for me. I'm, I'm running out of fever points. Our pack luck was terrible. This is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.